Welcome, space enthusiasts and stargazers. Today, we're going to explore the exciting and competitive world of Space Race 2.0. You might be wondering, what happened to the first space race? Well, that was all about the USA and the USSR, but now, it's a whole new game, with private companies stepping up to the plate. So, strap in and get ready for liftoff, because we're about to embark on an interstellar journey like no other. In the early days of space exploration, government-funded programs like NASA and the Soviet space program took center stage. But now, things have changed. Visionaries like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Richard Branson have entered the space race, and their private companies are giving the traditional space agencies a run for their money. Are you ready to meet the new players in town? Let's go! First up is SpaceX, founded by everyone's favorite meme lord, Elon Musk. SpaceX is all about making space travel more affordable and accessible. Their Falcon 9 rocket made history by becoming the first orbital rocket to land back on Earth and be reused. Talk about recycling! But that's not all, SpaceX's ambitious plan is to colonize Mars by 2050. So, if you ever dreamt of living on the Red Planet, keep an eye on this space. Next, we have Blue Origin, founded by Amazon's very own Jeff Bezos. While SpaceX aims to conquer Mars, Blue Origin's focus is a little closer to home. Their goal is to make space travel available to regular folks like you and me through space tourism. Can you imagine sipping on some space champagne while admiring Earth from above? Sign me up! Blue Origin's reusable rocket, New Shepard, has already reached the edge of space, and they're planning to send humans to space soon. Exciting times! Now, let's talk about Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. They're also all about space tourism, but with a bit of a twist. Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2 is designed to be a sleek, sexy space plane that'll take you on the ride of your life. Imagine experiencing weightlessness and seeing our beautiful blue planet from 50 miles above the surface. Oh, and by the way, if you're loving these out-of-this-world stories, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thrilling content. But wait, there's more! Let's not forget about the underdogs in the space race, like Rocket Lab and Sierra Nevada Corporation. These companies might be smaller, but they've got big dreams and innovative ideas. Rocket Lab's Electron Rocket focuses on delivering small satellites into space at a fraction of the cost, while Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser is a reusable space plane that could change the game in cargo transportation to the International Space Station. Now, you might be thinking, that's all great, but what's in it for me? Well, all these advancements in space technology have some pretty cool implications for the future. Space tourism could become a reality within our lifetime, and who knows, maybe one day you'll be able to book a vacation to the moon or even Mars. How's that for a honeymoon destination? These private space companies are also opening up new opportunities for scientific research and exploration. We're talking about sending more advanced rovers to Mars, landing on asteroids, and even exploring the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. There's so much we can learn about our universe, and Space Race 2.0 is just the beginning. Of course, we can't ignore the darker side of this new space race. As these companies push the boundaries of what's possible, there's always a risk of accidents and setbacks. Space travel is inherently dangerous, and it's crucial that these companies prioritize safety and learn from any mistakes they might make along the way. After all, as the famous saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. In conclusion, Space Race 2.0 is an exhilarating, high-stakes competition that's pushing the boundaries of human innovation and exploration. With powerful visionaries and their ambitious private companies at the forefront, the future of space travel looks more promising than ever before. We're witnessing a new era of space tourism, scientific discoveries, and even potential off-world colonization. So, hold on to your space helmets, because we're in for one heck of a ride. If you enjoyed this cosmic adventure, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our crew of space enthusiasts. We'll keep you updated on all the latest developments in the world of space exploration and much more. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars, and remember, the sky's no longer the limit.